actually calculating in a left brain type of way, that's natural. That's just pure melanin, right? So imagine if we then brought that left brain in it and they was actually calculating those shots. Hey, LeBron, did you know that you threw that ball, you know what I'm saying, 30 feet, and it was at an angle, and you know what I'm saying? Then we would master and take over. So that's what they do. We have all the talent, all the gifts, and then they have the mathematics. You know what I'm saying? So then you have all the greatest ball players in the world, original people, melanin dominant people, right? That the people actually go to the stadiums to watch, but then you have, you know, Europeans who are the billionaires that own the team. Because they calculate. While you just feeling, they're calculating. You know what I'm saying? But I think it's safe to say that um, without even knowing it, we calculate um, the like the arc in which the ball is shot into the hoop, right. so on and so forth. We calculate, um, you know, our opponent's destination on the court and so forth. You that's why we. So, that's why we deal with supreme mathematics, right? When we deal with supreme mathematics. We're adding the number to the actual state of being. So one would be knowledge, right? So when you're dealing with knowledge, that's information, but it's not necessarily a number. So the calculations are at a higher level because you're using your left brain where you're using your analytical skills and you're calculating mathematical skills, but then you're also using that essence, that feeling at the same time. You get what I'm saying? So they're calculating Right? Naturally. So they're not calculating mentally or left brain. It's just that they're so in tune that they can feel when they need to jump, when they need to move. Yeah, but that's still using your left brain and your right brain, though. No, it's using one more than the other. You know what I'm saying? We told you, again, when we deal with like masculine and feminine, you cannot separate the two. It's an illusion. I think we can separate the two. What we're looking for is balance. You got what I'm saying? So if you're using one more overwhelmingly than the other, you got what I'm saying? Then you're considered right brain. Obviously, you can use left brain because it's across the street. You, you, got, you know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> so obviously, we're using both. But when you overwhelmingly use one more than the other, like us as original people, being all the, the artists that we are, all the, the rappers, yet, yeah, right? Universal and Sony and all of the other companies that are not run or owned by us, I mean, at one point, if we just started calculating, right, Puffy might say to Dre, might say to Jay-Z, might say to Baby, look, you know what I'm saying? They tried that. They come to see us. You know what I mean? How hard did they try? You know what I'm saying? They tried to form like a super... They didn't try hard enough. Because I heard the I'm going to tell you how they didn't try hard enough. Because if they tried hard enough and they didn't succeed, then they'll all be dead. Yeah, right. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because you had people that tried to leave the plantation. They didn't make it, so they ended up dead. You understand what I'm saying? So if you're still living and got money and, you know what I'm saying, then you ain't try hard enough. Or we would have said they was forming something and the Jews killed them, and then we would have got stronger. Yeah, I felt like it was more like an idea that right. he was putting together, but they... They already attacked them before they go well, Maybe they were just warned, like, listen, if this, you end up doing this, and it happens, yeah, mostly that's what happens this is what we're going to do to you. And we, we, and, we, and, we, and we fell for the illusion. Right. right. Because that's all the NBA teams got to do. And listen, and the white boys on the team going to go with it. Because they like, yo, it ain't no league without them. Of all of you said that, right. Tiny Basketball he just said that. Um, yeah, Larry Johnson. Larry Johnson. Yeah. yeah, Larry Johnson. Now, let me tell you who was a real smart cracker. Larry Barrett. He was smart. You know what I'm saying? To be as good at basketball as he was, he was smart. Because he would say it. And you could see it. He said, I can't run as fast as the rest of them. I can't jump as high. <laughs> but his ass was calculated. You know what I'm saying? By the time he comes back down, the ball's going to be there. His ass was calculated. You know what I'm saying? Magic was feeling it. He just was coming down. Boom. You know what I'm saying? He, he didn't even have to look. You know what I'm saying? That's what a no look showtime. You got know what I'm saying? He didn't have to look. Boom, I'm th boom, he's there. I, I feel Byron Scott in the corner. Boom. You know what I'm saying? And he was, and it, it is, so we have these natural talents as original people, and they have us locked in our right brain because remember, 
for a very long time. They didn't even want you to read. Remember how you saying how the female ain't want the female to read and all that? Or, you know, females shouldn't read. Well, for a long time, they didn't want none of us to read. You know what I'm saying? So lock us in their right brain. So that means everything that they intuitively feel and come up with, we'll benefit off. Because we'll calculate, you know, the numbers and we'll rock with it. So once we converge both, they're done. Because they can't feel what we can feel. So they have to be locked in left brain. They got to calculate everything. Because they can't feel what we can feel. They can't absorb radiation throughout the entire atmosphere. Yeah. Um, when, like they said, how um, um, they wouldn't allow us to read, were they afraid that we can actually learn how to read by ourselves? Because remember, in order for us to learn how to read back then, we have to learn from somebody who knows how to read, which is mostly them, you know, who had the education. So did they believe, yeah, well, a few of us mm -hmm. did, but hidden. Um, did, were they afraid that we can actually sit down and look at a book and actually, knowing that who we are, we can actually figure out these words by ourselves and read? Well, or I, is our intelligence that, you know? Right. I can't say, you know, whether or not they thought that. Mm -hmm. However, if they know our history like they do, right? right they would say these are the people that came up with words. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> these are the people that came up with all the languages that we got our broken language from. Right. You know what I'm saying? So eventually they might start putting some things together and figuring out some things. Yeah. And you know so yeah, and they definitely did not want that to happen. Yes. Um, I feel like that there's a lot of not a lot of fear, but like with me, I remember I was watching a video of um, Michael Jackson physical, and he was talking about how much money that he's going to make off of Sony, and how he, um, and how he was like he became smarter than the man that was above him, mm -hmm. and then he said that they don't like that, and they don't want that to happen. After that, he dies. Right. So I feel like um, that if like using both parts, both um, calculating and feeling. Mm -hmm. That once they see that we're getting to that point, then they're going to try to kill us all, like they did. Yeah, yeah. but I'm going to go somewhere else in a minute. Um, the question is, how they, how are they going to do it? They tried already. I mean, they tried Every, we afraid of the military. Yeah. Right? Who runs the military? We do. We run everything. You understand what I'm saying? We run everything. In fact, we had to sell each other out for them to get to us. And that's right. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So it's always they always they can never get us unless it's through us. That's why the first enemy that you have to defeat is yourself. And the second enemy and the third enemy. You got what I'm saying? The fourth because is the double. It's it's scientifically <laughs> I have I have been making a career. You got what I'm saying? You know. I give it away, so I'm not hustling with it. But I've been making a career at proving how biologically and scientifically that they are so inferior to you that they can't do anything without you. They cannot. You got what I'm saying? They can't bring anything into this plane of existence without you. Simple as that. All of the books that they write about the secret, you, no. They can only do that if they're next to you. And normally uh, it's you doing it. <laughs> and they just benefit off Because they got right. you somewhere, you know, like you're locked in your right brain. So they like, this nigga gonna call something for and I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna get the patent. You know what I mean? He'd be coming up with something soon. <laughs> and I got the patent ready. You know what I'm saying? So look at what they did with, you know, again, music, hip hop. You know what I'm saying? That was something that came straight about the hood. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? American art form that came out the hook. We ain't got nothing but gangs. I am tired of fighting. Let's do something. Start spinning on them, spinning on my back. You know what I'm saying? Graffiti, MC, DJ, and all that. Right? They calculated and took over the whole art form. You know what I'm saying? And used it completely for their agenda. To now, you can't even find real hip hop unless you go somewhere overseas and it's being done by somebody else. And they normally Asian. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now they wear backpacks, spin on their heads, spin on their backs, throw graffiti art. You know what I'm saying? We walk around 
Sandy J. No. Mm -hmm. Drink. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, yeah. So, boom. We want whole brain conversion. Take these people off the map. You know what I'm saying? Because we're the feelers, and once we begin to calculate, and you know historically that we have both sides on lock, is because we calculated. Because when you add that feeling with the ability to calculate, then you come up with societies and civilizations that have ancient structures that are so mathematically precise and aligned to the cosmos that the current people that have been ruling the planet cannot figure out how it was done. Right? You watch that video, The Quest for the Lost Civilization, they say not only was these enormous boulders somehow moved because we don't see any technology and we still to this day don't have any technology that can move these boulders, right? But then they're mathematically aligned precisely. So it wasn't like, you know, they just were some super strong niggas and dragged these boulders into play. No, they are mathematically designed precisely. So we don't even know how they did it. But we know that they was connected to something much more powerful than us, and they was calculating at the same time. It's precise. When Yakub was six years old. Yeah. So, <laughs> some aliens came out of this kind of business, because, you know what I'm saying? These niggas couldn't have been that great. You know what I'm saying? The, the aliens came out of the sky and built them a shrine with big nose and thick lips. All right. Well, what, um, question, what happened to the Dover shrine? The Dover, the Dover, the Dover. Nothing happened to them. They're still like hitting Yeah, they still exist. I mean, when I say nothing happened to them, you know. Like, not, like nothing but happened to them. What I'm saying is they weren't destroyed or wiped oh. out. They still chilling. Yeah, they, they, they still they're around. They're just not they still in the media. Yeah. They still around. But even at that point, no air conditioning is none of them. Harmless. Mm -hmm. I mean, even to that point, they weren't threatening because this is what they just looked at them as just a primitive people, you got what I'm saying? But this primitive people had all this information. But even with all this information, they still was obviously uh, very ignorant to a great extent. Or they wouldn't let them crackers in and talk them nothing. Yeah, you know what I'm true. So you Hello. know that with all that information, they still was ignorant to a certain degree. Hello. Or they would talk them crackers to get a baddie. Mm -hmm. you know if they was any kind of real what smart. Year, what, what was the um, it's like, we're talking like mid 20s to like the early 40s you know what I'm saying and um, and again we have two there's there's a few theories <clears throat> one theory is the Dogon tribe is a direct lineage to Kemet and those stories were passed down about these constellations and things that they could not see right the other theory is they were just so in tune that they could detect these different constellations and planets, stars, and so on and so forth, without this so-called technology, right? And then I have to add in the fact, just because they didn't find any technology, don't mean it didn't exist. Don't mean they didn't have some microscopes, I mean, telescopes, some way, you know what I'm saying? So between those three, you can juggle all that up and come up with whatever. But either way, you know, it's also said that Benjamin Banneker, who is somewhat of a mystery, we don't even, he's somewhat of a mystery, is that's all we <laughs> Don't forget the bang. That's a whole nother. Wait, so you say that he didn't exist? I, I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying he's so. I'm saying he's somewhat of a mystery. You know what? Meaning, there's a lot of information that's not provided about Benjamin Banneker. So he could have like the bay. He could have not existed. He could have existed. He could whatever. I don't know personally, but I know there's a, a lack of information about who this person is. Yet, the 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 story is word on the street. You know what I mean? <laughs> Is that his lineage was to the Dogon tribe and also to Kenneth? Yeah, you know what I mean. Like right. He's the one that built Washington D.C. He was everything but and, a more. and aligned it to the Cosmos. Said <laughs> <laughs> so everything but more. Yeah, he's everything but a more. Like, now, I'm just not even here. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, he was a more. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he, he, he was a more first. <laughs> You know what I mean? I mean, you know, if you go ahead and do your history, yeah. Benjamin Banneker's files in the I Library did, of Congress. I deal with words that I can, that I can explain. Now, I'm just saying, is you know it Hey, listen. I don't want to use a word that I can't properly, you know what I'm saying? Please, God, you go to the Library yeah. of Congress. 
my very kind, you go online on the internet, you can look up Benjamin Banneker's file, his history. You know what I'm saying? If you was to go to Washington, D.C., right. go ahead and take a tour. They'll show you, you know, some of the fr framers of the uh, American Constitution as well as various cities. You'll see their feathers up there. You'll see Benjamin Banneker's, it'll say Bay on it. You know, That's nice space. nice black one there. So, you know, there it's public. Doesn't cost nothing for the tour. You can just walk in and say hi. That's a beautiful thing. <laughs> And they're gonna ask you for a donation. That's an actual fact. They're gonna come through with the bucket, but you know. That's space. That's space. Yeah, I appreciate the information. I would ask them for a donation if they asked me for one. Okay. Hold on, that's my stuff in there. Well, you said. You said that they were still ignorant enough to give out this information. Right. Do you think it's possible that the reason why they gave it out to them in the first place is because somehow they knew that it would come back to uh, us? See, I love when people think out of the box. Okay. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because you just took it somewhere else, okay. right? And when you took it, and this is why we can't just stay. This is why male and female always existed, and at some point they differentiated, right? right? But in reality, they always stayed together. So this is why you can't just say one thing without yeah. the other the being the possibility right. being... Like you said, they could have been so much smarter than I'm giving them credit for. That they was like, yeah, I'm going to give it to these crackers and they're going to take it back to America. Mm. Teach my people. You know what I'm saying? So thank you for that. I appreciate that. So, um, would you also say that the um, ancient Kenyan people was also ignorant for giving them the information? To mm. See, now this is where... See, what's interesting is, in this situation, I would say no, it was done very conscious. But then once you get judgmental, Right? This is where you fall, this is where you slip up. Because I became judgmental. And I say, yeah, it was ignorant, and so on and so forth. As opposed to, you know, leaving it open. Where maybe they were as as wise as the Kamishans, right? Or the Kimites, or whatever. Oh, that's how you say. <laughs> or the Kimites, right? And, we, and, and according to calculations, right? Particularly when I added up to my lessons, that everything was done very consciously. So they was given this information to rule for a particular reason because mm. they can add up. They understood what time period was coming. They understood who would be more beneficial to hold this information in that particular time period. Mm. Right? The same way we know, you know, December's creeping, you know, January, we know it's going to get cold. What happens? The chlorophyll and the leaves and the leaves begin to turn colors and they fall. Right? That's compatible to melanin. So at some point, our ancestors knew, because it's all in their calendars, that man would take a fall. You know what I'm saying? You had the rise of mankind, right? So they said, okay, that melanin is going to fall. You know what I'm saying? So let's give it to these, you know, sporish people who, you know, kind of thrives in less sunlight. Could you also <laughs> say that it was due to our um, unique humanity of us being caring and giving that we decided to, you know, give a little piece of the information uh, to the Europeans and so forth. That's that's when that's when I will go back to them calling us foolish. <laughs> yeah, that would be judgmental. Yeah, that would be judgmental. That's what I say is most of our problems today. You know what I'm saying? Like she was talking about letting Europeans in. Right? That's, that's the problem with a lot of our organizations, is we got to stop letting them in. You know what I'm saying? You can't come up with a strategy. You, listen, they don't let the other person in the huddle, right? <laughs> Dallas versus New York, right? The Giants huddling. Somebody from Dallas is over there. It's a problem. <laughs> Yo, for real, saying? B. What the hell about our huddle? So, you know, we got to stop huddling and then allowing the damn opposition to come over and listen to our huddles. Because then they're running out with our playbook. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we gotta stop that. So, um, here we go. Peace, Gene. Peace. You know, I, 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 I feel that they shouldn't, but um, same way we would be allowed in their organizations whenever we would provide some benefit to them, but they, you know, we would receive none. Would you feel that uh, you know they should be allowed to provide us some benefit at all, or should they not be interacted with at all? Of course, me, I'm of the conjecture that you know the devil can stay in hell. I don't need him for nothing. But there are some of us who perhaps are financially deficient or socially deficient in a sense, whereas they may lack the networking necessary to execute whatever 
objectives they or their organization may have. Right. Well, like I, like I told Sister earlier, I said they might be allowed in for some things, but not for all things. Okay. Meaning, if I let the European into this class, for instance, because that's what the question was, right? Um, they might be allowed into this class, depending on what class it is, but obviously I'm not going to give out any particular strategies that we would use to advance ourselves that they can then go out and spread or whatever. You got what I'm saying? So, you know, that's why you stay flexible. Anything that's not flexible will break. True. You know what I'm saying? If you look at how they build earthquake-proof buildings, they're built to sway. You know what I'm saying? They're built to move, right? Palm trees, they survive all those hurricanes. Why? Because they sway. So we might be like, ah, right, you can come in, but then we come back over here and now you ain't coming in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But we be too, we be too stiff in the wrong direction. Now you gotta let them in all the time. No, you don't. You know what I'm saying? That cracker should have not been let into that church when he shot up the church. Now, of course, the church, you know what I'm saying? Because that's how our people are, our black Christians. It's like, no, we just open the door to anybody. But under the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, nation of Islam when he was running it and crackers was not allowed into the mosque and if you was allowed into the mosque even black people was searched and patted down he would have never killed those people and then reloaded and killed some more reloaded you know what, what? Yeah, he reloaded like several times crazy you know what I'm saying so yeah no he reloaded you know what I'm saying but had we had a system built where it's like nah you know I me. Mean? We know who you are, right? So it ain't even personal. We know who you are. We know your nature, right? So we're going to pat you down and search you if we're going to let you in. If we're going to let you in, we're going to pat you down and search you. you know Still need to be screened. Simple as that. Screen. So now, ah, uh, now talking about male, female, and dealing with uh, geomagnetics. Right? There's a scientist and um, brother um, Ali Muhammad, you know, in the Melanin Encyclopedia, it talks about, you know what I mean? It talks about it in other books. Um, geneticist named V. A. Braskin. Right? And he talks about how we can determine the sexual orientation of our children based off of magnetics. Based off of magnetics. So in this book, um, the geomagnetic field in life, geo mag uh, magne magnetobiology, magnetobiology by A. P. Dubrov, the effects of orientation of embryos during embryogenesis and geo Magnetic fields on sex. Pages. Page 176. Right? He shows a bunch of um, studies that were done. A bunch of studies that were done. And, and the objects of the studies, how many, and when the subject, the female, either lay to the south or to the north pole. Right? Thus, the offspring will be to the opposite side, as you know, right? Because of the way she captures, right? Will determine the sexual orientation of the child. If that's the right word, because words, definitions are changing these days. So when I say sexual orientation, it sounds like I'm saying whether or not they're going to be gay or not. Let me rephrase that, right? They can determine um, the sex. Of the the sex Right, the gender. Right? Let me rephrase that. I'm not saying you can't come out gay if you're sleeping towards the South Pole. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and uh, Drosophilia eggs, which are basically fly eggs, right? Um, they tested 2,600 of them. You mean in your, uh, in your tomato sauce? In your, to in your tomato sauce. Yeah. <laughs> fly eggs in your tomato sauce. Right? Six, 2,600 of them. Okay? When, when the objects, and, you know, no disrespect to the women, but that's what we talk about, um, science, I'll say subjects, 
So when they were when when their head was toward the north, right? And these flags, when the head was toward the north, um, 55.3 percent was born male, and 44 percent, 44.7 were born female. Okay. In hen eggs, it was 1,173 tested when their heads was toward the north, laying toward the north, right? 73.5% were born male and 26.5% was born female. In cows, 19,000 of them. Cows are a hybrid, but either way. 19,000 of them. When the head was toward the north, 52.5% were born male, 47.5 were born female. Okay? In horses, only 79. When the head was toward the north, 71.5% were born male, 28.5 female. And women, which they studied or tested, um, 824. When their head was laying to the north, it's for y'all sisters, 81.5. Were born male, right? Mm -hmm. Or fetus, K male, and eighteen point five were female. But when you say their head was laid to the south, are you saying uh, <laughs> to the south pole? Well, I'm saying the fetuses, or like wow. the 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 female's head, because then the fetus will be toward the other direction. You, you're talking about like for most of her lifespan, her head was towards. No, 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 no. Well, during the for for the females, it was during the first two months of pregnancy. Their head was towards the mother. Right. Right. 